Top 10 Most Powerful African Kings of All Times Africa has been known for having some very powerful kings and memorable ones, notable kings and kingdoms that were quite outstanding in many aspects, such as manpower, organization, strategy, weaponry, politics, and claimed territories that extended for thousands of miles under their rule. These kings led thousands of people with either direct or indirect rule and made a name for themselves, in other words, became popular with their contribution to African history and world history as well. Whether they got into power by force or through treachery or succeeded at the throne as a royal heritage or appointed by the people, these kings or rulers left us something to talk about way after their demise from the surface of the earth. So therefore, in no particular order, we will be sharing with you the top 10 most popular African kings of all times. As we celebrate the kings in our families on Father's Day, would like to introduce you to 10 real-life great pre-colonial black African kings we should all know more about and identify with. Welcome to Displow and thanks for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications in order not to miss out on any of our new uploads. Now the top 10 most powerful African kings of all times ranking in no particular order. Number 10. King Endubis, Aksum of Ethiopia. Aksum was a powerful northeastern African empire which rose to power after the decline of the ancient Egypt and Nubia. Aksum is accredited with conquering and bringing the ultimate end of the kingdom of ancient Miro, as known as Nubia. Aksum controlled the Horn of Africa to cross the Red Sea into the Arabian Plateau. Endubis was the first king of ancient Africa to mint coinage. And following Endubis, all Aksumites or Ethiopian emperors minted their own coinage with gold, silver and bronze pieces with their faces and motto. Number 9. Mansa Musa Keita I Mansa Musa, which translates as King of Kings or Emperor of ancient Mali Keita I, was the 10th Musa of the Mansa dynasty. Under his rule, Mali became one of the wealthiest countries in the world. From their gold and salt production, agriculture, and imperialistic nature and dynamic trade location, the kingdom flourished. Forbes named him the richest man of all time. Musa Keita I is famed with the enriching the great trading city of Timbuktu, establishing the library and Islamic universities. His legendary pilgrimage to Mecca with over 60,000 attendants and lavish outpouring of gold to the poor across the Sahel region, Egypt and the Middle East was chronicled by many and is suspected as what drew the attention of the Spanish crown and initial attraction of Europeans to West Africa. Made famous by the Spanish map, which shows him holding a golden orb, Mansa Musa is also credited with initiating extensive building projects in Mali from palaces, mosques and urban developments. Number 8. Taharqa of Egypt and Nubia Taharqa was one of the great Napatan Nubian kings and pharaohs. After his father, Pa, successfully conquered Egypt in Batu, Tahara united the two kingdoms to form the largest African empire at the time. His empire spanned from the fifth Nile cataract in Nubia throughout all of Egypt up into the Middle East in Palestine. Taharqa is credited with bringing new peace and stability to Egypt, resuming building projects and arts in Egypt and Nubia, which were lost for centuries at the time. Biblical scholars believe his reference in the Bible book of Kings chapter 19 verse 9 and Isaiah 37 verse 9 as the great king of Cush, who waged war against Sennacherib, king of Assyria. There are several monuments to Taharqa and recently, in January of 2015, a great tomb sanctuary to the Egyptian god Osiris was unearthed in Upper Egypt. Its construction was traced back to the 25th dynasty, possibly during Taharqa's reign. Number 7. Ezana Aksum of Ethiopia Ezana is celebrated as the first Ethiopian king to embrace Christianity and convert his entire kingdom. He helped establish the Ethiopic church. He is also credited with bringing the powerful rival kingdom of Miro, also known as Nubia, to an end. Under his rule, the Aksumite kingdom flourished. Under his reign, several unique structures and obelisks were erected. International trade was also increased. His coinage has been unearthed in locations like India and Greece. Number 6. Amenhotep III from 1388 to 1351 BC. Father of the famed heretic pharaoh, Akhenaten, and grandfather to the famous King Tut, Amenhotep III was one of Egypt's greatest pharaohs and the most successful of the 18th dynasty. During his reign, Egypt enjoyed wealth, peace, and stability. There were several exclusive buildings, projects, and monuments he commissioned, as well as the very first man-made lake outside the palace in Margata for his wife, the great Queen Tia. During his reign, Egypt had exceptional influence in foreign policy and diplomacy, which he handed along with his wife, Queen Tia. 
proof of this lies in the renowned Amana letters coming from Assyria, Babylon, Mitanni, and Hatti. When Amenhotep III died, he left behind a country that was at the very height of its power and influence, commanding immense respect in the international world. Number 5. Oba Eware, also known as Eware the Great of the Benin Empire, which included Edo and Nigeria from 1440 to 1473. Oba Eware is known as the first king of the Benin Empire, the reformer of Benin Titi, and one of the very first warrior kings of West Africa. It's chronicled that during his reign, he conquered and absorbed at least 201 surrounding towns and villages. Together, Iwari and his son and successor, Oba Ozolwa, were responsible for establishing a viable foreign trade in Benin, building substantial palaces and creating several strategic policies, one of which removed the conquered town's chieftains from absolute power but allowed them power in a congestional committee. He also created a patrimonial bureaucracy in which freemen served as military and administrative chiefs. Outside of war and politics, Iwari is described as a charismatic leader. He established several cultural traditions, communal events and festivals. Under Iwari, the tradition of Beninese arts flourished. Number 4. Oba Odudua of the Oyo Empire of Yoruba Land, Nigeria Odudua is considered the progenitor of the Yoruba Land and Yoruba Dynasty. He is a national folk hero and considered the primordial god in Yoruba culture. There is much debate on where Odudua originally came from or when exactly he founded the Yoruba Land and language. However, he and his clan descended on the lower region of Nigeria and defeated several existing settlements to establish Yoruba land. Legend has it that he had 16 sons and daughters before he died. He sent each one to the centers of his conquered territories to rule autonomously. When they founded the kingdoms of La Oragun, Owu, Ketu, Sabe, Popo and Oyo, Oraminian thus established the Yoruba dynasty family line. Number 3. Somni Ali of the Songa Empire from the 15th to 16th century. This empire included Senegal, Nigeria, the Gambia, Mauritania, Niger, and Guinea. With Sony at the helm, the Songa Empire became the largest Muslim West African empire of all times. Sony was a brilliant military mind and led the largest imperialist mission in West Africa. His forces were amphibious, attacking and patrolling by land and water down the Niger River. During his reign, the Songa Empire reached its pinnacle, surpassing the Great Mali Empire, absorbing its territories and the famed city of Timbuktu. Islam spread throughout both rural and urban centers during his rule. Number 2. Osei Kofi Tutu of the Ashanti Kingdom, also known as Ghana, from 1660 to 1717. The Ashanti was a highly political, wealthy, and powerful West African kingdom, and one of the first sub Saharan militaries to adopt firearms into the arsenal. Their source of wealth came from the large salt and gold deposits mined in their region, which they traded within the continental African state trade routes. The Ashanti was an organized and disciplined Akan people. The Akan was the ethnic and linguistic grouping of people who spoke Akan or Twi and included several Akan states. In 1701, Osei Kofi Tutu, chief of the small Akan city state of Kumasi, helped form the Ashanti Empire by unifying all the Akan groups under the golden stool known as the Ashanti seat of power. He influenced the other Akan to overthrow the dominating Akan group, the Denkera, as well as conquer several other neighboring states. As the Ashanti, the unified Akan people absorbed several Akan territories and expanded the Ashanti wealth, power, and influence. The Golden Stool would remain the seat of power for the Ashanti until the British Imperial government demanded the sovereignty of the Ashanti be turned over to Britain as its protectorate. This resulted in the War of the Golden Stool. Number 1. Sondiata Keita, founder of the ancient Mali Empire. The Mali Empire took control after the Almoravids, Berber kings of Morocco, destroyed the Ghana Empire. Sandiata Keita is the renowned hero prince of the Mandika people. This prince's rise to fame is chronicled in the poem The Epic of Sandiata traditionally told by the Creoles. The poem tells of Sandiata's fabled origins and details of his preordained rise to kingship, the formation of the Malian Empire which included the Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Senegal and his imperial conquest starting out with victorious battles at Kirina on the Niger River. Afterward, he marched on conquering all territories in modern-day Senegal, the Gambia and Guinea-Bissau. The dynastic line he originated from became one of the wealthiest and most powerful ancient West African empires. Conclusion Even though most of the kingdoms and empires built by these great kings were dissolved prior to colonization, these kings made a mark on the continent with their unique leadership skills. There you have it, explorers, our list of the top 10 most powerful African kings of all time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos.